beautiful Sunday, beautiful Sunday morning. Who wouldn't want to fish in a place like this, right, ladies and gentlemen? You know, I tend to say that the world is vast, but sometimes the world is pretty darn small. I made it down here to Biloxi, Mississippi just yesterday. People have been treating me great. It is that southern hospitality, you feel me? Everyone says good morning, everyone says hello. You treat people with respect, they treat you with respect. I was just scouting a few fishing spots, my first time ever in Mississippi, right? I found this one gentleman fishing out there, dude. He was like, bro, I'm a big subscriber of the YouTube channel. I've been following you since you had 298 species or something like that. Man, I was like, in this a small world, huh? So, hey, shout out, shout out here to my sub, Buckshot. That's what he's called down here in Biloxi, Mississippi, all right? Oh man, way to give me a good welcome. Well, without further ado, this is the first fishing spot that I have chosen for the Biloxi area. It is a little bit windy, as you folks can see, right? So the audio in this video may not really be that prime. And this spot's pretty special. You folks just saw that car right over there, right? This is the Biloxi Fishing Pier. A man, is it a long, long pier? Fun fact of the day, it takes me 16 minutes to walk from the beginning to the pier all the way to the end of the pier. And this is not even the end yet, okay? I'm here right now at the middle of the pier. So obviously, we're going to attempt to catch some more species for the 2023 Species Marathon. And I also need to catch some sand trout that they have down here that I don't have yet on my life list. So let's get the rods ready, man. We're gonna be grinding here the entire day. I don't have the hoodie with me today, but let's make it happen. First things first, we need to get some water here from the Biloxi Bay, you know. This is going to be a catch and release video down here. So you gotta treat those, those fish with respect, man. It's a windy day, so it's not that easy to get water, but all right, we got some water from the Biloxi Bay, man. The water does kind of look muddy over here, doesn't it? I don't know, is it going to be good? Is it going to be bad? I've talked to a few anglers before I came over here and, oh, we have to be careful with this hole. <laughs> This is the type of hole where things like phones and things like that kind of fall into it. So no, we're going to stay away from that hole. So you folks can see it, right? The water does look very, very muddy. Perfect area for croakers, drums, sand perch, that type of environment. Maybe some sheep's head along the pilings, right? Every time you come to new places, man, sometimes they have these, right? Sheep head, triple tail, southern flounder, spotted sea trout, red snapper, red drum, gray snapper, cobia, right? So these are like the common species or seasonal species that you can catch around this area. And as you folks can see, looks muddy like that. But when you do get the water, look at this water. It is still pretty clear water, not that saturated. So that's good. I got shrimp and squid. Let's get the rods ready. Let's get this lane. It started. All right, you all. Let's see what type of shrimp. Holy shit. Oh, dang, dude. This, uh, this Mississippi shrimp is a little bit different than what I'm used to when I buy it in the tackle shop. Dude, what is this? Pink shrimp or something, bro? Dang, son. Anyways, I just got these from the tackle shop, man. Very, very different, huh? than the ones that we usually get from Florida. Mmm, smell, smell good though, man. Smell like proper shrimp. So for the big rod, okay, I'm gonna use a circle hook and I'm just gonna put a whole shrimp on the hook like that 
all right this one's a little bit too big so i'm gonna cut the tail off that's okay uh fun fact the three ounce sinker and this weevil i actually found it here at the pier so people in biloxi man they must have a lot of money you know <laughs> because we do have three ounce sinker laying around dude three ounce sinker ain't cheap you know i don't need to cast that far away so i'm just gonna swing it out there that's it give it a little push here so that my line is straight when it goes down super hyper shallow chi even in the middle of the pier set my drag but that doesn't mean there's no drum or anything over here right so i'm gonna set my drag and uh, when i don't have a raw holder i usually attach a line with a little circle hook right here to the railing okay so that i can make sure i don't get my line and that's it that's my raw holder right over there okay with this setup right over here listen man if the rod takes the if the fish takes the rod and this 30 pounds test line with 30 pounds leader there's absolutely no way that this rod is gonna fly in the <laughs> no way but just for extra safety just for extra safety you know there we go i'm gonna set up the epf rod now with tiny hooks pieces of shrimp and see if we can get one of those legendary sand trout to add it to the life list. I was getting tiny nibbles right over here. There's a bunch of rocks right next to the pylon. Certainly hope that little fish is still around. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah boy, what is it? What is it? What is it? No, you've got to be kidding me. I mean, it's good bait, don't take me wrong. This is great, great bait for around this area, but my first ever fish, man, from Biloxi Bay, from Mississippi, is a tiny pink fish that I am about, seriously, to live line on that rod. Oh, 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 easy now, bro, easy. Got a hit on the live pink fish. Got a hit on the live pink fish, boy. Oh, it's on. Hey, 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 live pink fish for the win, boy. Let's see what it is. Oh, not bad, not bad. I think it's a drum. All right, easy now. Don't let it run towards the pilot. Oh no, wait, it's a catfish. Oh, come on, man. Oh, wait a moment. I think it's a gaff top sale catfish, though, man. I don't got this one for 2023 yet. Get over here. Yeah, gaff top sale, son. Easy, look at that, huh? Ate my live pink fish. Well, all right. <laughs> <laughs> I really thought it was a drum at the beginning, dude. I'm using a big circle hook here too, but I'll take a gaff top sail though. Another species for 2023. Oh my lord, instant hits. Instant hits on the shrimp and of course we got here an atlantic croaker yeah all anglers told me this place is filled with tiny atlantic croaker micropogonias undulatus i've already caught this species in brazil earlier this year so doesn't really count for the 2023 species marathon but i tell you what they are really good cut bait live cut you know pink fish and croaker all really good bait so this one is going in the bucket for now that got a hit again it's a croaker I know already what it is it's a whole school of croaker down there don't take me wrong man we're on the fish we're on the tiniest of the tiniest of the croaker fish look at that man there's a, a gazillion of them all like this size down there you feel me look at that dude this is like my 
This is like my pinky finger right over here, bro. This is we're, we're feeding the next generation of Atlantic croaker out here. You feel me? So yeah, numbers wise, whoo! Look at that, man. They're having an air show this afternoon over here too. So they're kind of flying the planes and getting ready for that. Dude, I love Biloxi, Mississippi. I'll tell you that. Anyways, yeah, we've been on the tiny croaker. Just like that. Look at this, man. Bah, get out of here, bro. Been catching it non-stop, but that is not a species that we need. That rod after the catfish has been very quiet too. Tell you all what, it's time to make a move, man. You know, we're gonna, it's my first time fishing this place. You feel me? We're going to go all the way to the end of the pier. See if it gets deeper, if anything changes. I need that sand trout, man. Oh, man. We kind of made it. We kind of made it all the way to the end of the pier. Where that red car and those black ones and the porta pot is at. That's the end of it. But I do see some people fishing over there. And I don't want to bother them while shooting the YouTube video. So I'm going to stop by this, this light over here. And I think I'm going to set up right over here. Man, I'm going to try this side now. I was trying that side the entire day because it's better light, better footage for the YouTube. I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. You will be with the sun now, but sometimes you've, you've got to do some sacrifices. Oh. That bite was just a tad stronger. Oh yeah. Oh, you kidding me? What is this? Catfish? Dude, if it's a croaker, it's a bigger croaker. Oh, what is that? Double something. Is this my lifer? Is this what I'm... No, it's just double croaker. You have got to be kidding me, man. Thought for sure, man, that sand perch was going to show up now. Nope not right now man it felt good because it was a double you know it was a double up croaker so fish bites on the bottom and i mean don't take me wrong this size of croaker is a little bit more closer to like eating size you feel me but it's still not nearly enough okay atlantic croaker micropogonias undulatus and uh, we got the one that was caught on the shrimp on top look at that bro you really can't make that up man Felt the bite too. Let me see if I can take this hook out. Oh, yes, beautiful. I can take it out. I can take it out. Unbelievable. Not my trout. Man, croakers. So many croakers down there. This is unbelievable. All right, all Atlantic croakers so far. No sand trout. Ay, yay, yay. But sooner or later, sooner or later, I kind of have a feeling that they will come if we just keep punching this down there. Well, seems like the shrimp on the bottom is kind of working, so time to punch another piece out there. Boy, cast it to the right side. Beautiful. Oh, something just boated out there on top of water when I cast it out, too very interesting there's so much potential actually for different species over here that i could catch both for 2023 and for the life list all right make sure this rod doesn't go anywhere that's good time to try to catch that sand trout man Easy man, I just threw the shrimp out too. I think it's a catfish. Oh yeah. Feels like a catfish. Actually, I don't know. If it is a catfish, it's a bigger catfish. Yeah, it's a, maybe it's a bigger catfish.
Yeah, it's just a bigger catfish. <laughs> yeah. Man, I'm telling you, this catfish, dude. Oh, easy, easy. Man, it's a you gaff top one? sail. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. It's the one I'll have to pull by the line. Yeah. Got the size of that thing. Yeah, I got 30 pounds stays, so I'm good to go. Oh, yeah, man. Yep, gaff, gaff top sail. Yep. Oh, man. I mean, don't take me wrong. They're fun, but... <laughs> Bro, what are we? Oh man, bro. Yeah, so yeah, folks. This is this is the golf, golf fishing right here in Biloxi, dude. This is what we catch. <laughs> this is a nicer one too. You folks not taking catfish, right? Huh? You want it? No. No, you're good. Okay, all right. No, but. Nobody down here even wants the catfish, dude. Don't take me wrong. There's a big gaff top sail, man. Look at that. Look at the size of that thing, man. It's got to be like close to four, four pounds. Intense, man. All catfish. No sand trout. No drum. This feels a little bit better. Come on, man. Don't let it be a croaker. Don't let it be a bigger croaker. Let it be something different. Oh, yeah, yeah. Wait, wait a moment, guys. Wait a moment. Is this, a, is this really a croaker? Is this no? This is it. Dude. Yes, sir. Oh, my Lord. You see the fang right? At, this one's actually missing a tooth, dude. Needs to go to the dentist, but sand the trout my man sand the trout okay we're gonna take a good photo of this one this is a lifer for me i'm pretty sure need to identify it too isn't it a great feeling when you actually come out here you hit a spot for the first time ever you make a plan and the plan actually works out let me tell you all something it is not about the size of the fish okay but when you are a live lister, man, it is all about that devotion. You feel me? Bro, croaker. Listen, listen, listen. Croaker after croaker. You know how many Atlantic croaker are down there? A lot. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. Okay, you can see the numbers right over here on the screen, right? But the thing is, sometimes you just got to punch through it all and not give up right that is the main idea man we're finishing this video with a lifer this is my lifer 428 oh man it is a sand wick fish check this out sinocion arenarius and i gotta tell you i mean if you're familiar with new jersey area right you know already about the wick fish it's got the little fangs here in front although this one is missing a tooth right it's beautiful, eh? Look at that. It's got 12 anal fin rays. That's how I know that it is the Arenarius. There's another one over here that is the Sinocion Notus, right? That one's a tad smaller. And it is a species that I don't have yet. So I think for the rest of the day, after I go have some lunch, that's what I'm going to try for. Man, there's potential for a lot more lifers in 2023 species in this area okay you folks didn't really get to see this video but we've caught some hard haired sea catfish today the ariopsis felis we also caught the silver croaker right? well the american there are so many names for this one nowadays people call it the gold tail croaker the bayer de la crisoda which was a new species for 2023 so like I said, you know, I'm enjoying my time down here in Biloxi, Mississippi. Man, you feel me? Man? I'm gonna go have some shrimp, some gumbo later to jump out. Man, bro, this is just episode one, right? So stay tuned. I'll be back. I'll be back soon enough. But for now, let's take a little break. Thank you very much for watching this video as always. Appreciate it. 
tie lines and take it easy. People all be casting out there, which is fine, but you know, only a whole master knows the true value of these holes. Sometimes, man, you want to catch the good bait, the good fish. Look at that, dude. Bayer de Ella, Crisoda, right over here, man. Gold tail croaker. You feel me? That's what it's called, right? Well, back in the days, it was American Silver Perch, but yeah, all right, next hole, next hole, man. See that, bro? People all casting outwards, you know? I mean, there's fish out there for sure, man, but sometimes they like to stay under the pier. That oh easy dude easy only those who know the value of a good hole know man that look at the look at the size of that dude people be catching smaller croaker out there <laughs> than the ones that be catching from under the pier. Don't tell everyone out there, okay, man? I'm telling you this because you're my subscriber. This is good eating size right here, okay? You're my sub. I'm telling you this stuff, okay? Don't go telling the rest of the world, dude, the value of the holes.